Hey, it's Mike Barker here for Seasons RV in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Uh, in front of me is the 2023 uh, Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH. Uh, this thing is a pretty well fully loaded trailer. Uh, fiberglass exterior, beautiful interior. Uh, has a lot of fantastic options uh, that uh, do come with this particular model here, uh, which I'm going to show you here right away. So at the front here, we do have a uh, power jack. So with uh, your docking light, as you can see, it is all LED lights. Two 20-pound propane tanks, uh, battery storage there. There is room to have a second battery. Uh, on, the, on the bottom section of your front cap, you do have this uh, metal uh, kind of checker plate here that's going to help protect the front from uh, um, rock chips and stuff when you're pulling it down the road really right and then they've got rock guard part way up too as well uh, that's also going to help protect that fiberglass cap oh, just down to the side here it is a little tight over here so I can't really get all of it in one shot but uh, um, this is your pass-through storage anyways so it does have slam latches. Uh, they are magnet latch too as well, instead of those plastic clips that uh, tend to break over time. Um, Grand Design themselves here, they do, they have one of the largest pass-through storages uh, in uh, a travel trailer itself. Uh, really, really deep, nice and wide, loads and loads of room. Somewhat of a docking station here, so you have hot and cold water, city water connection, or fresh water fill and your water hookup is right here too as well so that's going to be you just switch this valve and that'll either fill your tank or straight direct water if you have it you have a battery disconnect here gfi plug room for a spot for satellite or tv or cable uh, and right here is your solar monitoring system here so this does have a, a 200 watt solar panel that's right now even though we are pretty cloud covered today you're getting 14.4 volts directly out of that solar panel, um, which is really fantastic. Uh, definitely gives you uh, more than enough power to run quite a bit of stuff uh, in the trailer itself, which I'll get there once we are inside. So the construction on these here, one nice thing is you do have nice solid sides of your slide. Um, same thing with the bottom, all solid all the way around, uh, even on the roof itself. Um, just build quality in itself it's just it's pretty fantastic lots and lots of windows for natural light and coming around the back here so your uh, um, sewer drain is just located there gray tank and black tank valves you do have a black tank flush so there's sprayers inside these tanks that are just going to clean out that tank really nicely when you are uh, emptying them. Manual stabilizers front and back. Spare tire on the back with your 50 amp power. Full walkable roof rated for 2,500 pounds. It is pre-wired to have a backup camera. Uh, also works well as a review mirror when you are driving as you can have that on. Sewer hose storage inside the bumper there. You do get an outside kitchen. It is a three burner griddle, as you can see. You got your three knobs there. Outside spray port here. Full power awning on this. Just uh, pop this guy back in so that I can sneak by. You got nice storage here. You do have a light inside with a plug in just at the back. Little mini fridge here too as well again magnet latches on all your exterior so this is your main door entry here but you do have a separate door entry just up here uh, for the bedroom directly nice aluminum alloy wheels you have good deer endurance tires beautiful thing with that you have five year warranty on the tires. You don't really see that very often on a lot of manufacturers. Um, so really great to have that kind of coverage, especially if you're doing quite a bit of towing. But uh, we're gonna go inside and check all this stuff out. So at the front, you got a little bit of a shoe storage there. 
spot to hang some jackets. Full control panel, ceiling lights, exterior, everything is all located here, slide awning. This little guy here is your motion light. So as soon as you walk up, this whole panel is going to illuminate. And then of course, everything else. Now this, you can connect to your phone. So one of the great things with that, you can monitor your solar, uh, you can open and close your slides, you can turn your lights on and off, you can open your awning, you can basically control pr pretty well the whole trailer just by your phone. It is a uh, pretty fantastic uh, option to have in here. All right, so as you can see, you got your double over double bunks. So uh, teddy bear soft cover, so really, really comfortable for the kids. Uh, you have AC ducts in the, in the roof here, as well as USB port, nice little night light here. You're gonna have um, a plug-in as well as a light there for the bottom. Really cool, you have extra storage underneath. So that tips up, that'll actually lock into place just right here, as you can see. Uh, but you can have it closed and still have lots of room. I know some people they use this for spot for their dogs or pets to sleep in and all that good stuff. So really, really awesome. We're going to check out the bathroom here too. The bathroom actually has quite a bit of space. Porcelain toilets, flush, foot flush toilet. You do get uh, a linen cupboard there just on the side. Nice little vent skylight here. Gives you a little extra headroom. Decent uh, stainless steel uh, shower head. Now your shower curtain here is this. So that just clicks in. Very, very durable. And there's squeegees inside this that'll actually wipe off all the leftover water from having a shower. So you don't have to worry about any mildew buildup or anything like that. Decent counter space with your stainless steel sink. You've got lots and lots of room there for all your camping amenities. Towel holder. So the, the floor construction on this here, it's actually one solid piece front to back. There are no seams in the subfloor. Um, it is a marine grade subfloor. Um, so it's basically waterproof. If you get any leaks, hypothetically, down the road, anything like that, you're not going to have to worry about any soft spots, anything that's going to uh, um, wreck the integrity of the floor. Uh, so really, really great uh, great design for the flooring there too as well. Uh, no floor vents in this one. They're all tucked off to the sides. They're very good at hiding them too. <laughs> um, but uh, Reason being, you know what, you get to, you clean up the floor, you don't have to worry about pushing dirt and stuff into the vents, you're not stepping on any vent covers, uh, it's, it's great, it's a, it's really nice to be able to have it that way, uh, circulates the heat in the trailer really well, a um, little bit more efficient, so, uh, you know, your furnace doesn't have to work as hard to, to heat up the trailer. You have a uh, trifold sofa here, tips up. USB and type C port here as well. The slide is the only spot with carpet. There is no carpet anywhere else on here. Storage underneath the bottom. You do have access from underneath here too as well. Table, it does drop down to a bed, but uh, nice thing, this isn't mounted to the floor. So you can actually fold this up, take it outside, set it up if you need to. Uh, just gives you lots and lots of options to be able to utilize the table as much as you can. Uh, and then of course, at the back, I don't know if you can see that, that is actually an ottoman. And there is storage underneath that too as well. So if you only wanted a booth dinette, that can pull out and you can sit here and enjoy TV if you're, you know, raining or anything like that. And put your feet up. So, lots of storage on this side. Fuse box, nice little shelf there, full extension drawers.
So just under here, it is a little cold, so that's why you're hearing that noise. Um, Bluetooth radio, you have an HDMI port here, plug-ins just on the inside, so if you have a DVD player you want to hook up, uh, you can, because this is already hooked up to the TV. It is a Roku Smart TV too as well. So if you've got uh, Wi-Fi or you want a hotspot to your TV, you got your Netflix, Disney+, Plus, everything that you're going to watch uh, from home but here in the trailer. Moving to the fridge. So just down below here, this is what I really like. If you do have pets, food and water dish here. Spot for, uh, you know, you little fit some tennis balls in there for sure. Lots of extra room. And then again, you have more storage here too as well. These are removable, same as the bottom ones. Your refrigerator is a 12 volt refrigerator. Um, big benefit with that, that solar panel up on the roof uh, is going to run this no problem. And much deeper fridge. You don't have all that propane lines running through the back. If you don't have power hookup, I wouldn't be concerned about running out of power as I mentioned and showed you the uh, cloud covered day that we're having right now um still putting out 14 volts more than enough to run that fridge so you have a uh, three burner stove the glass cover on that nice thing things turn red when you leave them on which is really nice you don't have to have those lights on but it works so really nice I, I wish I had some at, my, at home actually because I leave the oven on quite often and my wife uh, isn't usually happy when I do that <laughs> massive massive storage down here you have access to your water pump just behind but uh, all these little pegs here helps organize all your pots and pans uh, you know that's usually one of the things that's uh, a struggle to try and find a spot for now you got it Again, full extension drawers, plywood construction on those two again as well. Plenty of storage underneath the sink. You've got uh, your light there. You have a plug in there. Nice little window for the camping side. Microwave and range hood. Great spot for some spices or, you know, those uh, adult beverages that you may hide up there. Nice deep cabinets. Definitely going to fit a large size plate. Uh, more than enough room for really anything that you want to put in here nice uh, under mount stainless steel farm sink as you can see stainless steel sink cover this is also a drying rack uh, it is designed so that you can actually stand your plates up in here and uh, they'll actually prop themselves up and then just kind of like your dishwasher and it'll air dry for you uh, residential style faucet another plug in there too as well and then on the end if you need more counter space, you do have a nice little flip up counter. It does have really easy um, little clips there to be able to drop that down. You're not going to be fighting with the hinges there. We're going to go into the bedroom here. So you do have an RV size queen bed. Good amount of room in between to walk around. There is, it's quite impressive actually. There's your outside access. There's some of your furnace ducts just right there as I mentioned. Uh, nice big sliding barn door style um, bedroom door. Now it is a magnet latch which will latch just right there. Um, don't have to worry about you know your plastic locks or anything like that. Uh, breaking again over time. Lots of storage. Overhead storage. Big drawers. reading lights here and then one nice thing that Grand Design does in these uh, on the Imagine series um, these little cubby holes so you have uh, uh, 110 power there you do have uh, USB ports on both sides uh, one of the benefits to these is the reason why they put these cubby holes there is a lot of people are starting to have uh, sleep app machines you're finding it more and more common so if you happen to have one it's gonna fit beautifully inside that little cubby vaulted ceiling in here gives you a real tall feeling almost like a fifth wheel not quite but uh, <laughs> really makes it leaves it open so 
Hopefully, I've gone through enough information on this trailer. Of course, there's lots and lots more I can go. I can ramble on for hours. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if I haven't covered something, please reach out. Let me know. And uh, I will hopefully have answers for you. But uh, yeah, again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.